Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm King Lin from Open Source Taiwan Community. And not only is this, I'm a new member who just joined to the community for more than no more one year. So, and this is my first topic talking communities in its open source community. So, I'm lucky guys who can and thank open source community invite me to here. And let's start my topic. It's about why you should choose open source Cubic. And it's for the upstream beginner enter to the con container land. So, everybody can, can relax for the topic. And first, motivation to use Kubic is for people who just want to know or use Kubernetes, but don't know, don't want to play Kubernetes the hard way. I think 80% people, if they don't have container background or knowledge, they will fulfill or give up while setting up Kubernetes. And second is for native English user. You know, it's still not enough information in Chinese. As I know, a lot of IT leftist information will translate to Japanese and French immediately, but not in Chinese. And for people who are unfamiliar with command line, but now you don't worry about that. You can use open source Kubic wiki, and they have everything step by step, and you can follow the picture, and you can have a cluster, and everybody have a cluster easily. So it's my online of today topic. And first, what is topic Kubic, and why Kubic, and start Kubic easy way, and QA. First, what's the cubic? Uh, so yesterday I have an amazing talk about cubic. I think everybody know basic about cubic, so I have a short introduce about cubic. Cubic is sub project of Open Source, uh, founding in May 2017, and focus on container knowledge and based on Tumbleweed rolling release and various upstream including Kubernetes and Parming and Quail. And container service platform based on Kubernetes atop open source microOS. And open source is microOS is a modern Linux operation system designed for container hosts and optimized for large deployment. Okay, it enhanced tumbling and cast. And so surely if you favor to use uh, tumbling and you want to use container, uh, Kubic is your best choice. And why Kubic? If you think Kubic is very quick to use and you recommend your friend to use, but they say, no thanks, we are busy. First, you, you should explain two things about Kubic for them. First is container. What's a container and why is microservice? Container is containerized everything like always that you can build, ship, and run everywhere and in every environment. And architecture like Kubernetes can manage com container in easy way. And microservice, what is microservice? It's a general application consists with multiple component services. It's hard to know, right? So besides the not new state, not stay application deliver have the supply chain has changed. Now dev, dev development and operation, you should deploy your container or environment more faster. And all these traditional monolithic architecture face the problem. That's a monolithic operation do not meet our requirement. And VN as significant resource and management overhead. It's hard to control the traditional architecture. So you can choose microservice of creation. Not do one thing and do it well. But no, not every people suitable uh, microservice. If you, you, you give a baby for use microservice, they don't know how to play microservice, right? So, 
MicroOS is microservice plus container and many small focus container that make your sophisticated service that can uh, well-defined application and independent language library you can build your own container very fast and modular, easy maintenance and reuse. And they have provide for tolerance and scale about uh, scale out ability to f for you. So it's easy setting up a cluster uh, so should maintain it as well. Now you can your friend know about Kubik, so they think they are lucky to use Kubik. Okay, let's start a little brief about Kubik. Before install, you should have a bare metal like X, X6 and 64 or ARM uh, machine. Uh, and download the Kubik ISO from Kubik uh, Wiki or Internet. It's, the ISO is less than two gigabytes, and system require just two CPU and two gigabyte memory and 30 gigabyte mini hardware. It's very small, and we are installing Kubernetes system certified Kubernetes stack, covering using Kubernetes on top of microservice based system, and it's easy range, like just like you install Tumbling. First, install and choose next. And choose Kubernetes node and OD4 and choose your password. And it's default to use. And when you build the, the Kubik, you should have uh, installed two or more systems with open source Kubik. And you can follow the Kubik wiki step by step. And enter this command like could be ADM in INT, and you can get the token. And your master node is building successfully. And some set up like wrong following us before your master node set up. And set up the network of the master node. It's easy. And you can uh, copy the token from the master node and pass to the, your slab node. And you can have a two node to, to manage. And you can get, use Kubernetes control get node and you can find your, you, you can have master node and slab node. It's easy, right? And if you want more information about Kubik, they have a lot of information about about blog and GitHub and Trail. You can follow their work. And it's lightning clock. Thank you so much. And enjoying Kubik. Thank you.